Let's go, man. Let's go. That's right, baby. Hello, guys. My name is AJ. Welcome back to Triple Play Sports Picks. Go ahead and do me a favor. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Well, Thursday was a day that nobody should have missed. Wednesday was a good day, but Thursday was a great day. For those, those of you that have been following me, I appreciate the support, but I'm telling you guys, people were probably fading my picks, you know, since I did have an 0-4 record on a Tuesday, I bounced back Wednesday, and I definitely hit the Grand Slam on Thursday, baby. So let's get this show started. Let's go ahead and do the recap for Thursday slate. And the first pick, one of the first picks that I chose was the um, the Houston Astros versus the Texas Rangers. And on that one, I had chosen the minus one and a half on the Houston run line. And boy, let me tell you, it was first a slow start. Houston and Texas didn't score anything in the third inning, but in the fourth, the Houston Astros came out swinging the bat, having scored seven runs in the fourth, later on in the game, two in the sixth, three in the eight, for a total of 12 to nothing, 12 to one at the end. So that minus one and a half covered easily, guys. All right. And for the second pick that I chose was the NFL. Uh, the NFL Thursday night game, which was a pretty decent game. It wasn't, you know, what I expected. I expected a little bit better more, better defense from the Washington football team, but it didn't happen. They still went on pretty much just, ju just pretty much the same thing like they did last week against the Chargers where they just left too many wide open um, wide open players to catch the ball for the Giants and you know what it almost actually caused them the game for that reason and on that pick I actually chose the minus three points on the Washington spread and it didn't cover guys the Washington did ended up winning, but they only won by one point. So that means that I didn't cover. So whatever. That wasn't the main one that I really focused on. But on the grand slam that we hit for the day that I had said is worth a shot. Let's go ahead and do it. Man, let me go over it with you guys. And... You know what? It, it was it was a very very low scoring game. The first pick I chose on that game was uh, under ten. That was my best bet, under ten. And the way it started was no runs in the first. Yankees scoring two runs in the second. Nothing was going on later on until the sixth inning. The Baltimore Orioles came out with one run, and then. Nothing was going on throughout the whole game until the bottom of the ninth. Guess who came out? The big underdog came out. The Baltimore Orioles coming out with one run to tie it in the bottom of the ninth. And at that point, I felt like, you know what? Damn, the under is not going to probably hit because in extra innings, if people don't know, there is always a runner starting at second base. So uh, there, there's an advantage that there, there's an, there's always an advantage that that runner is going to score like guarantee. So just know that in extra innings, there's sometimes there's a lot of runs that score in that inning. And you know what? The Baltimore Orioles shut the Yankees down 
in the top of the tenth and in the bottom of the tenth they they hit a bunt the the Orioles eventually led up to a bases loaded jam and they hit a walk-off single to win the ball game just like I called it guys if you guys missed that pick pigs four picks guys I chose the under 10 runs, which was the score two to three. That's only five runs. Easy cash. The second one I picked was a plus one and a half Baltimore Orioles. That one cash. The third one I picked was a plus two and a half Baltimore Orioles. That one cash. And the last one that I said, why not take a shot? Why not take a shot of an under, underdog going plus 200, guys? 200. What that means for you uh, first-time sports bettors is if I put 100 down on that underdog and that and they win, guess what? You get $200 on your winning bet plus your $100 back. That's exactly what that means. So I hit that grand slam. I, I Like I said, the 0-4 start the other day was not going to stop me from keeping – putting in work on my picks. And, you know, I thought I was done on, you know, that day I felt defeated. But I said, you know what? It's only gonna motivate me more to come back strong. And I came back strong in the in the Wednesday's picks and especially on Thursday's picks. So whoever tell those picks, you guys cash. And you know what? This is what I'm here to do. I'm here to help people cash out bets. You know, where I do my research, I, you know, do do a little bit of everything. I and I explain everything on my videos. So let's get to Friday, the September 17 picks. So for three picks, we're going back to baseball. Not no football or anything. We're just going straight MLB today. So the first picks I'm looking at is the um <clears throat> San Diego Padres against the St. Louis Cardinals. And on the mound for the San, San Diego Padres, we have Mr. Newly Acquired Vince Velasquez. Yes, you heard that. He's no longer with the Phillies. Now he's with the San Diego Padres. His record is 3-6 and six with a 5.95 ERA. And on the mound for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas, 0-2, 5.47 ERA. And with this pick, these teams are just fighting now. The Padres have woken up finally in the last two games on the, one of the best teams, the San Francisco Giants. And the Cardinals been hot lately as well. And I'm looking at the total at nine. Both pitchers are not consistent. I really, just by the ERA says it all. So for that reason, I'm going to do the total, the over nine runs. All right. That's my first pick for the day. The second pick I'm looking at is the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Cincinnati Reds. And on the mound for the Dodgers is Walker Bueller, 14 and 3, 2.32 ERA. The Cincinnati Reds, we have Luis Castillo, 7 and 15. 4.24 ERA. And like I said, the time is ticking now. This this is only like a couple weeks. There's only a couple weeks left before we start October baseball playoffs. And you know what? It's crunch time for the Dodgers. On the edge on this one is the Dodgers with Walker Bueller on the mound. So with this one, I'm going to go with the Dodgers money line at minus 170. It's not too bad. I mean, I've seen it worse where, you know, they're up like, minus 300 you know but minus 170 i'll take it um if you guys want to take that chance on that minus one and a half where they've been covering the last five out of the six um games so but for me i'd rather just go with the minus 170 and i do feel on this pick as well i feel like the total is is gonna be under as well where it's sitting right now at eight and a half runs so just thought I'd give you guys that that um that pick as well. Um and the last one I'm looking at is the 
Let me see. That's the second, guys. The last one I'm looking at is the... Man, I, I just lost it. Okay, um, the last one I'm looking at is the Chicago Cubs versus the Milwaukee Brewers. On the mound for the Chicago Cubs, we have Zach Davies, 6-11, 5.40 ERA. On the mound for the Milwaukee Brewers, Adrian Hauser, 9-6, 3.25 ERA. And with this pick, I'm looking at a big, big edge on on a, on a good, consistent pitcher. He's actually hasn't given up a run in 15 in, innings, and that is Milwaukee Brewers' Adrian Hauser. So for that reason, I'm going to do the Milwaukee Brewers minus one and a half. So let's do the recap for Friday, September the 17th, and the first pick I'm doing is the San Diego Padres and the St. Louis Cardinals going over the total of nine. The second pick I'm doing is the Chicago Cubs versus Milwaukee Brewers. And with that one, I'm doing the Milwaukee minus one and a half runs. And the third pick I'm doing is the LA Dodgers versus Cincinnati Reds. And that one I'm picking the Los Angeles Dodgers money line. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let's hope we have another great day. And I hope this video motivates you a little bit more to start telling my picks. You know, if not, it's okay. But anyways, I would like to say that um, if you guys have any questions, comments, you know, concerns about certain picks or or you have anything you want to talk talk about just write it on the comments and i'll be glad to answer your questions thank you guys i appreciate it